We've learned the state is finally doing something about a long list of bad cops, recently stripping six of them of the right to ever be cops again. But the state still has a long way to go to catch up. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Jessica, some of them are household names for all the wrong reasons, but the state agency that strips bad cops of their licenses to wear the badge is finally going after them. Remember April Sanchez? We're treating you like everybody else, April. Oh, okay? yeah, I know. I know. You're treating me like any other criminal. The foul mouth APD cop arrested for drunk driving and trashing up her ex's car, who was then popped, leaving a casino hammered and punching an officer there. She can no longer be a cop. The board took away her certification in July. Then there's Matt Kendall, the Albuquerque cop accused of working a side job as a pimp's helper. He was arrested a year ago after he was caught on camera in an undercover sting trying to bribe a hooker for sex. I could have come over here saying, hey, give me a I know I can take care of it without that. The director of the State Law Enforcement Academy Board has recently recommended he also be stripped of his certification, setting the stage for a full LEA board to bar Kendall from ever being a cop again in New Mexico. Remember these cops, John Doyle and Robert Wooliver? Well, they were caught on a parking garage surveillance camera early last year kicking a suspect. They were both fired, but are fighting to get their jobs back. They agreed not to work as officers until the board decides their cases, which is now on the docket. The board is still dealing with a backlog of pending cases. A list that we now know includes accused wife killer Levi Chavez. He was charged with murder and fired from APD a year and a half ago. We've learned one high-profile former cop was stripped last month of his right to ever wear the badge again. That's Alfred Lovato. Of course, he was a state police sergeant and attorney Carlos Fierro's passenger when Fierro hit and killed a man drunk driving, and then he took off. Jessica? Well, the LEA says it has a stack of 70 cases for cops around the state who could have their law enforcement licenses suspended or yanked for good. The board meets again in October. Last time they met, which was in July, they knocked out 20 cases.